That's my redactal number 167 on Tuesday, September 20th. Single word title with five letters. And it is a 99768 by 910 of 65 or 9. Of course it is. Uh, 6510 as a 7 or 107. The 45 was 54 by 7767. And then 4 4. Uh, I wonder if that is a, a range of years and is 7 from the 4 5. Interesting. Nothing is uh, coming to me as to what this could be. <laughs> could be. Excuse me. Six, three, five, something, and so on. I wonder if this is uh, maybe. No, how about can be? Yes, let's do bean and being and might. How about maybe? No. Call me maybe. How about first? Oh, okay. It was first uh, made. No, it was first. Hmm. It'd be good to get that verb. Um, I assume six is the plural of five. So that's good to know that it's not just some general concept that can't be pluralized. It must be some concrete thing. Um, can be five, nine, eight. So here's a list of things it can be. Maybe often. No, we do have often down there. Um, in an eights six, seven, often six is in seven of seven. How about making? I'm determined it's going to be made. Um, oh, something is man made. Um, six, which I think is the plural, are a um, subset oh, of nine. That's good to know, too. The four, eight, maybe the main, the only, no. The soul is man-made in 9.10. However, of a 7.5, I wonder if natural then comes up as a, in opposition to man-made. Yes. of a natural dash five. Um, which I could, would, should, oh, of a natural something, five should be uh, considered a five, as it is nine to three natural ingredients. No, that was 11 letters though. It is something to um, all, no. The seven is three is one. Yeah, let's do two as well. And um, let's do once. 
No. We do have one, two. Nine and six have two general. No, two something properties. No, that's ten letters. Um, three, four looks like C also to be something for its something properties. Is a thought is within a eight four is thought to be eleven. I can't think of a five letter word before properties and then uh, references external links. The seven of eight, seven and six, nine. Hmm. Okay. It's not a very long article. Six of the four in the seven of eight. Um, how about science? No. Nope. Uh, the word, the term, oh, something of the term origin. No, we do have two origins. The term five is used to five to three, nine, seven, two. There's an awful lot of to in this sentence two five three something uh, this could so let's do that and those and these okay this could five maybe range yeah from five seven of eleven nine ten to ten seven ten eight in the four in the wild no by ten twelve and then we have four dash twelve is itself something no uh, well to four ingredients such as Uh, which of the have words have I done? Um, have, has, had, having. Did I do were? No. Uh, was is not redacted yet. Um, will? No. Um, let's do known. Two knowns. Nine as ten. Are known to have the ability, propensity. Uh, let's try propensity. No, it's ten letters are known to have a something to 5, 10, 8, or 10, but these may be 9 to those who would, yeah, to those who would 3, 4, let, those who would 3, 4, 11, hmm, uh, they are often 11 and 6, 9, they may also, no, they may just 
be seen. Oh, I'm getting quite a few uh, misses on these words. Uh, let's do not while we're here and now. To be seven outside of a ten. They often three seven. Um, two. Uh, so, so maybe considered four nine. Uh, more. Let's do most. Many. More. I did more. Considered four. I just did it. Considered more nine than eight six. Eight used as a six of six is considered to be the most seven three for such ten. Nine comma Alternatively, or hmm, let's six use as a six of six is considered to be the most seven three. Ah, the most effective, the most something. What's the three? Um, tool is for, um, no idea. Let's go back up to the top. A5 is a 9, 9, 7, 6, 8 by 9, 10 of 6, 5 or 9. The term 5 was first used by 7, 7. Um, is that English? No. First used by Spanish. By. I'm thinking seven is a nationality. Seven is his job or role. And then six, seven is the name. And then four, four would have been his uh, lifespan and is uh, derived from the word five. No, I'm not, not getting this. Eleven. Six are often um, What's a 13 letter manufactured is only 12. From 5, 8, 6, 8, 5 on 5, 10 origin. That's interesting. Uh, there, yes, on there. On their something origin. Uh, oh, maybe something from other. Is it distinguished? Yes, six are often distinguished from other eight, six, eight, five on their something origin genetic origin are we talking about animals of some kind um is this a hyphenated word three dash seven or is it a a dash in the middle of a sentence no i think it must be a hyphenated word is it mid dash? Is it ill dash? There is one ill. 
uh, to something to treat, no, to something ill people. Ooh, we do have one people. Are all that most people seem, all people care, all people and something are all that most people oh need two six six eight eleven five that would be eight the three of fourteen uh the aim oh the use okay the use of fourteen or five as thirteen For 10, such as 8, 6, 5, or 12, 10, is often called the 5, 6, uh, referring to a 9, 9, which can a wow, into 7, 10. <laughs> But um, did I do general already? Yes. Um, common, one common. The word five four uh, does not. The word five does not. Seven six of eight, as opposed to five, a five nine via a four five three period. Is that etc. Yeah. Hmm. Seven may five before through three five. I think I did it. Yeah. Um. To uh, refer to six that are nine onto the four seven of six eight without an twelve five i think i need to find um well here's etymology let's do that it's one of our favorites oh it's not etymology oh my goodness uh the term eight is uh, frequently, no, that's ten, is, oh, sometimes, that's nine, use two, ten, seven, the ten origin, again, we have origin, as opposed to thirteen or thirteen, seven, can be, um, identified oh that was 10 by their nine of by their countries no by their something of eight as seven nine eleven via nine ten or ten across the or something across the side across the face Across the eyes, across the hands, across the sea. Um, oh my goodness. Nine, 
8, 11 to the 6 is 7 by 8. 8 bar 8 bar 6. So here we have, they have 2, 7, 9. 9, such as in the 6, 5, 8, 9, and 4. Or 7, as in the 3, 3, 5, 3. Um, let's try some three-letter words. Uh, C, air, gas, no, oil, no. Uh, some of the more well-known five uh, types of 9, 7, 11, 8 by 13, 10, 8 by 15, 11, and then this is either IE or EG, it's IE, 5, in the 5, in the order, no, in the something they 9, 11, 6 through the 11, in 6, 4, and 6, 7, or most 9, um, or most familiar, most similar, and then we have a sub-listing, Six by the five, six, nine. Huh. Well, I'm not sure what all of this is. The five, five, six, most nine, the three, nine. Thirteen six. No, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of lost in thought here. Okay, it looks like we have some acronyms here. Seven eleven about six. In general, four ten nine the six of the nine, but maybe nine for six, seven, and are the eleven. Okay. In six. Not in general, in is in some area. For more than so many thousand ten in over so many thousand ten eight. Um, in over so many thousand. Ten eight and a oh my goodness in their colon eleven eight it seems odd to have a colon before the end of the sentence and the eleven eight can be used to six nine three five for eight.
Six is a 10, 11, 6, and then uh, an acronym, I suppose. That is um, part of, part of six. Of the six, six to four, five. Uh, there just isn't enough here for me to to get this something of the term. Um, let me try language just for grins. No, no language. Um, I'm going to try just some areas. Um, have I tried food already? No, but we do have uh, three food. So that was a lucky guess. Food ingredients such as, I wonder if it's like white sugar. No, what? Oh, brown sugar? No. What kind of uh, sugar is that? Not cane sugar. Ten nine also known as three, and nine. So what are our other foods? 13, six from food, six. Food energy, no, food. 13, six. From food, six, that may be nine to five, six, seven. Okay, let's look at our other food. In six, the eight food, oh, food is capitalized here. Maybe the American food? No. Um, something food, the national. We do have one national. At the six, six, national, seven. National Academy, no National Society, we do have one society, Society of Ten. Um, let me try some other food type words, we'll do foods, one of those, can be used to six, nine, Three foods for eight. Um, have I done all yet? Yes. Um, something foods, a three letter word. No, let's try a nutrition, a nutrient. No, taste, cook. Eat, edible, uh, poison, ah, five poisons. Oh, so this may be important. Let me go up to the top and see if, yes, there we go. A five is a nine, nine, seven poison um, produced by nine, ten, of six, five, or nine. I wonder if plant is in there. Plants, one of each. They can also be 10 by their six, such as six, nine, nine, six, plant nine, or six, nine. So let's look at plants of something plants. Well, let's do poisons, plural, four of those, and let's do poisonous, uh, poisonous plants. There we go. Let's look at our poisons. Um, 3-7 poisons. What 
after those uh, oh non yeah I should have thought of non as that prefix non something poisons it is something to be maybe fatal one fatal Um, so I'm trying to think back to the poisons that I came across in Agatha Christie books, etc. Um, so let's try arsenic. One arsenic. Um, strychnine. Now I'm going to have to get a bit of luck spelling strychnine. No, did I spell that correctly? I am going to cheat a little just to make sure I'm spelling uh, strychnine correctly. I don't think that's cheating, is it? Oh, it looks like I did spell it correctly. I won't look at the Wikipedia article, but it is S-T-R-Y-C-H-N-I-N-E. Um, what other? Oh, cyanide, of course. Sparkling cyanide was one of Agatha's books. No cyanide, okay. Other 12 7. Um, I know they might say it is fast acting, so no. Uh, slow, no. Uh, toxic might come up. Eight toxics. Ten are toxic at the five of ten. Five. Six in a non. Eight, seven are only in seven. Only in certain. Ah, I always mistype certain types of six, five. Um, from certain toxic nine. What's this? One dash one nine. Are they going to be letters or digits? Um, is acid going to be mentioned? No. Alkaline? No. How about acidic? No. That's a dead end. Our two certains are very close to each other. Maybe based on their, yeah, based on their 10 origin. I'm wondering if that's something like genetic origin or chemical or oh my goodness I can't believe it took me over 30 minutes to get to the poison part so what is the are the words before poison 997 um, naturally occurring maybe yes naturally occurring seven poison uh, organic oh look at that pleased with that uh, produced by 910 of six, five, or nine. Um, produced by yeah, I'm not sure what the nine ten is. Is it something like oxidation or? photosynthesis or 
six five ten has a seven or ten seven. Um, so ten maybe is a verb, like it occurs or it's. Hmm. Uh, oh, it was first used by organic chemist. So that was the uh, seven seven. It wasn't English something. It was organic and then chemist. So who's a famous organic chemist? I don't think I know any. Let's try George. No, have a Thomas. No, probably a fool's errand. Trying to think. That. Oh, it is derived from the word toxic. Okay, I think, sorry, I didn't see that earlier, but I think having matched on toxic, I think we can make a guess at the five-letter word. Uh, so a little bit lucky there, but that's going to be toxin, I think. There we go. Whew. All right. Um, it took me 37 minutes. I see the mean is two minutes and change. So well done to those people. But this is amazing. They, within two minutes, now, uh, well, maybe because people like me, yeah, and if this includes me, I may be bumping up that mean guess count. But I suppose some people uh, put in their words a lot more quickly than I do. Anyway. There we go. Now, metabolic activities of living cells or organisms. Protein or conjugated protein. <laughs> and Ludwig, I would never have guessed Ludwig. Uh, there we go. Uh, all very interesting. Some of the more well-known. Types. Yeah, I don't think these would be <laughs> occurring in a Agatha and Agatha Christie novel. But anyway, that is Redactyl for today. Thanks as always for watching and have a great day.